if you are new here welcome please don't forget to subscribe like and watch my other videos if you're an old subscriber thanks so much for coming back for this video so as you can see i'm standing a pom pom i mean you guys have seen the video that i did for um i woke up in my hometown for home office but go and watch that video but today today's like the depot rides in pom pom here I have done my depot that was like a long time ago so no it's not me but then we are doing it in my family house that's the Usuwe clan so we are going to go there and we're going to watch them dance and i'm going to video everything that i can get my hands on i mean like the way i did for the festival i'm going to do everything for you like that so that you guys can see whatever is going on i mean you know i always bring you the best nothing but the best so do not go anywhere and we're going to walk to uh, my family house and i'll see you at the end of the video so um welcome to the side this is my great grandfather's house and that's my little brother and we are going i'm going with my mom and my auntie so this is like the route to wherever we are going which is my clan house which is the usuim clan so i'm gonna be explaining um as time goes on over this voice over <laughs> so yeah that's my mom and that's the route we are almost at the clan house that's the building there and that's my auntie she's working with and we're ch chatting so <clears throat> yeah and these are the depot babies <laughs> and that's my auntie and she's seriously doing something and these are the beads that we're supposed to use for one distant cousin of mine that she's also doing her depot so these are the beads that we use and this is my auntie <laughs> she's so interesting and i that's one of the reason why reasons why i actually love going to pom pom a lot because of these people they make me so happy and so they're trying to like fix whatever that they will use on my distance cousin um so like you fix it there before um you get like the dance floor and everything so that's how everything is going and this is where they're supposed to dance this is my distance cousin that's on the far left my auntie is trying to um wear the beads for her and everything and then so after they use palm oil on their bodies to make them shine it's part of tradition so that's what one other person is using for her palm oil no hot normal room temperature palm oil so that's what they're using for the little ones at, um, as well every one of them from their face down to their toes everyone is going to get a palm oil this is part of the tradition before they wear the cap for them to have to do all this is tradition yeah so i went through this as well <laughs> so we'll keep watching guys <laughs> so they're trying to tell them that no one is supposed to speak it's alleged that anyone who speaks during the um tradition or whatever they are doing which is a depot right is alleged that when you give birth your baby's mind be dumb and deaf so nobody is to speak so the lady is going to use white sand in Ghana. it's called ailo i don't know how other um people call it but in Ghana, it's called ailo mixed with water and she's going to um, use it on their lips as an indication that they are not supposed to talk during the um tradition so she'll do it for each and every one of them and she has warned them and told them if you want to pee you make a sign if there's something wrong with you you make a sign do not talk to avoid any future um or care um any future impossible occurrences i don't even know what i'm saying but that's the whole explanation of it yeah so we are done for our babies don't they look so cute <laughs> and yeah so these people are those who um play for them to dance 
and the two ladies there are called the Dipo Nyemeng. It's like they look after them. So she dance twice, and then I think is it twice? It's twice. Then she bring them onto the dance floor to come and dance. So keep watching, guys. So the lady brings the first one onto the dance floor and oh my god she didn't look like somebody who could dance but damn she's killing it this girl can dance i mean from her leg moves she was that she can dance i'm really impressed i mean i was so impressed about how little they were but yes they just still killed the dance guys enjoy <laughs> So as they are dancing, yeah, please come and spray money on them, just as the, the man came to do to my little just dance present. Yeah. And these people are the older people. They are not for my clan though. 
So I said they're, they're from my clan, but like the other side of the clan, these people are clay Osuim, and these people are the older people. They, sh they should be in their secondary school. Yeah, so they do the same dance as we do, but not like from, um, how do I say it, from my family house. So I just wanted to cheap that in because I don't really know a lot about this. So let me just chip it in for you guys to see them too. But I feel like my clan house actually really danced well. I mean, the little girls really killed it than the older people. Cause, but then again, huh, enjoy. <laughs> So this is the final dance and they are heading to um, finish the dance in front of um, the drummers. <laughs> the drummers here in front of them. <laughs> and then they are going to where we call tekpete that's where they make them sit on um a stone to see whether they are virgins or not mind you it's only virgins who do this tradition if you are not a virgin and you sit go and sit on that stone you won't be able to get up yeah so after they come up from the tekpete they kill goats 
each for three goats and they pour the blood on the legs of um the depoyos i went through it i don't know the reason why though but then they do that to every depoyo goes through this so then after they do this they run fast into their rooms so this is on the friday this is where they dress them with the crowbar and decorations and perfumes and everything and then they dance um the hayu this is called the hayu dance so it's like agbaja but then it's a little bit calmer than agbaja so they spray them everybody has the right to come and spray them with money with clothes with um um materials like it was so fun just watch them done <laughs> so after um their brothers are also dressed up and then they make them come and dress the same dress but in my auntie dancing there she's just a whole a whole mood so yeah the guys also dance um the how you dance and then they spray them with money too and perfumes and all that and their brothers that are dancing are referred to as to hunume <laughs> to hunume to in english is good hunume is husband <laughs> And this is my distance. <laughs> my distance at the um yeah, she's trying to dance the dance because her daughter was dancing really well, so she had to count the dance for to come and dance too. So she's trying to show her moves. <laughs> So guys, this is the end of the Depo dance. I mean the Depo rides and everything. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave your comments. I love you guys so much. And I'll come to you again with another yet interesting movie. Bye. Mwah.